for you, Mpo? Why did you do Mpas? It's, it was done in my family. I never actually initiated or done it myself. But it, at home, we would actually do this so that for protection, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, we would, like I said, we would gather. We would be called to come and gather. And then we would, each one of us will speak. Mm -hmm. uh, speak your name, you know, uh, whose child you are, your name, whose child you are. All of us will speak our names to that it, at that corner. Mm -hmm. Then my grandmother will be putting the slave and then she will be putting the beer as well. And then from there, she would call the great greats that we don't know mm. to say okay they are here you have had them these are your children and so forth one maybe has um is about to graduate it's about to finish school so be with this person and so forth take this is what i remember take our prayers to god mm. <laughs> yes so um it was believed that when we do that whatever that we are speaking there it's actually being transported by those people who went before us mm -hmm. they are transporting that to god mm -hmm. yes and it's a, it's a sad story yeah it is because i'm the way the truth and the life is jesus and i've realized that at that point in time we were just replacing jesus mm -hmm. uh, you know and we believe that death is sacred but mm -hmm. that's not the case mm -hmm. hence we know in the word of god it says that the rich man died but he didn't go to heaven, heaven. Mm -hmm. so death is not sacred mm -hmm. it's, it doesn't qualify the dead people that now they are able in, to be in touch with god on our behalf mm -hmm.